The Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce AICC held their in-person networking event on May 25th at Akbar Hotel in New Jersey. Manmeet K. Singh was the keynote speaker for the night and she spoke about the cost-effective plans from United Healthcare and their Asian initiative to help Asian communities live healthier by accessing affordable and quality healthcare. The event was well attended by executives, business owners and prominent community members and leaders from all parts of New Jersey. Let's watch the highlights. And I am the board of director and responsible for the membership and also sponsorships. So today I am taking privilege to thank our patron sponsors. So I think some of them are here. So please stand up and show yourself so that people know who do what that. So Robert Wood Johnson, they are here. Shisha is here with us. Thank you so much. United Healthcare, who is our sponsor as well tonight, the speaker. So Madhuri and her team, so you can look and speak to them. So I'm really grateful to all these corporate sponsors and our patron sponsors and all the members, life members, everyone for being part of the ICC and continue doing this and keep spreading the word. So as Chetan said, uh, United Healthcare Asian Initiative is actually here to serve you, not only in New Jersey, but we are there nationwide. Uh, we, the United Healthcare Asian Initiative, has been in the community, serving the community for the past 28 years. So we've been here and we're getting stronger every day. And of course, with your support, with the ASCC support. Our mission is to help our members, our Asian community, to live healthier lives by enabling our community easy access to affordable health care. How we do it is by giving uh, national access, national member service to our community. We not only serve uh, South Asian communities, but we also serve Chinese and Korean and Vietnamese communities as well. So we have cost-effective plans for employers to give to their employees and their families. We all know happy employees, healthy employees, healthy families, and this, the employees are coming to work, they're happy, they're doing, producing more for you. But then we came up with a level-funded concept where everything is more transparent for the employers to see where this premium is going that they're paying to us every month. So just to put it in simple words, to an employer or to a member, there's no difference between fully insured and level funding. It's the same benefits, it's the same network, it's the same invoicing, the employer receives the invoice every month. They pay according to the invoice, no hidden costs. But at the back end, what is happening with level funded plans is we're taking a premium from the employer and dividing it into three portions. One portion of that premium is going towards administrative costs, which means that we are paying for the network, we're paying for the member services, claims administration, taxes, right? The second portion, we start paying claims for that employer. So whatever the members are utilizing, we are paying claims out of the premium portion that we are receiving from the employer. So indirectly, we're just doing the administration for the payment the employer is doing. So the employer is actually paying for these claims, but to us. The third portion goes towards the stop loss insurance policy, which is the risk protection for this employer. What this does is that just in case if the claims overrun, there is a stop loss policy in place that will pay the remaining overrun. So the employer is not in deficit at all. So the employer is paying the claims only up to a certain limit. Once they reach that certain limit, the stop loss carrier will kick in and pay the rest. 
So that's how the premium is being divided into three portions on the level funded program. 